If you look at back in the celestial navigation days, you're traveling by ship. And at that point, people are probably on the ship, you know, okay, I got to know where I am within kilometers or so. Like, this is great. Why would I ever need to know where I am within hundreds of meters or meters? And then as you get into the long wave radio and the radio navigation, you're starting to move into aerial. It's okay, if, if I know where I am to within 100 meters, why would I ever need better accuracy than that? And, you know, the original paper from aerospace was in 1966. At that point, okay, we need to get to within single digit meters, keep going forward and you get into the automotive days. If GP GPS can tell me what road I'm on, why would I ever need better accuracy? And sure enough, advanced to where we are now, now it's, okay, well, take your hands off the wheel. The car's gotta know not just what lane it's in, but if it's in the center of the lane. Just continuous technology advancements. And like, we already have customers asking us for millimeters. Like one example that stuck with me in talking to a construction customer is, I'm paving a hundred miles of four lane highway. And the tolerance on how thick I can put that blacktop down is three inches plus or minus a couple centimeters. And so if I can knock off one centimeter times four lanes times 100 miles, it's saving millions of dollars of blacktop. You know, the same way that GPS wasn't designed to tell a taxi where it's at, but without it, Uber doesn't exist, Lyft doesn't exist, DoorDash, like none of these things exist, that when you start to make these high performance capabilities available into the world, it's pretty exciting to see what the next generation of having just highly available, high accuracy is gonna unlock.